and action. <laughs> action. <laughs> okay, to make a coil pot, you're first going to make the base of your pot. Now, I make the whole thing with coils. You don't have to. You can roll it out and cut a circle and start with that, but I don't. I just prefer to do the whole thing in one technique. So, trick with coils, again, is you don't have too much clay in your hands, okay? So something that will sit in your hands quite nicely. And then you're going to roll it, and you've got to roll from the tips of your fingers to the base of your hands, because if you don't, it's just going to go flat. So you roll it, and you assert the pressure from the middle outwards. And again, if we're using white clay, you will find it's going to dry up much quicker. So we've already used this bit, it's already drying. So the red clay is much softer, it's much more manageable, it's much more pliable, but you won't be able to build it up as quickly. Hmm. So what your aim is, is to get a round coil and for it to be reasonably even all the way across. So if you get it very thin, push it together. The neater your coils are, the neater your pot's going to be. So if you can make your coils neat, then even. So start by coiling it in on itself and just rolling it round until you get the size of the base that you want. Okay, so I'm going to leave it like that. If you want to add another one, if you want to make it a little bit bigger, whenever you add one coil to another, you do not put them up against each other because you're creating a weak spot. So if I make another coil because I want to make the base bigger, then I have to put it over the top of that coil there. Okay. So I haven't put it alongside it. I've put it over the top. Okay, so made my, my base. What I'm going to do now is just to make it a lot more secure is I'm going to just drag the clay across the top to join them. And that's basically the technique you're going to use for the whole of your coil pot. If you can see a gap, that's where it's going to crack when it dries. Okay, so you want to do that without knocking it out of shape. And again, the more even your base is, the more even your pot's going to be.